So one of the interesting things is the, we talk about the new digital technologies. Sort of the making use of the new digital technologies is a first world problem. You're assuming you have connectivity. The real core problem is that half the world doesn't have access to the internet at all. And so the project I'm working on in One World Connect is really devoted in the first instance to trying to provide those opportunities more and more to people. And to do that, the funny thing is we're fascinated with cutting edge technologies. The things that are doing it are old fashioned, Wi-Fi, cellular, cellular networks, these sorts of things are making the connections to make it even possible to have the conversations about the new digital technologies. If you want, I can talk about the new digital technologies, but that is what I would think is, personally think is the most important. In terms of new digital technologies, you know, what's fascinating to me is, uh, what's fascinating to me is we've had a problem with what we call human-computer interaction, which is we used to think that being, interacting with a computer was typing on a keyboard, and because you can only do that so many minutes or hours in a day, there would be an absolute limit to how you could interact with computers. Now, with the smart home devices, which can detect movements, but more importantly, use predictive analytics to infer from that, those actions, what you actually need, they're able to automate a lot of things we used to have to do by hand. Uh, the, uh, the easiest example I can think is cars. Now, you used to have to turn on the windshield wipers and do intermittent by hand. You'd have to lock the doors, the, turn on the headlights. The cars will do all of that by themselves. They're going to do that in more and more phases of our lives.